A recent study showed that 51% of women surveyed were looking forward to retirement, but it also indicated that women have only half as much saved in their 401k plans as men do. Add to the fact that women are counterparts, you have a potential problem. On the Dollar Structure interview, we'll ask Kelly O'Donnell, Executive VP of Financial Legends, what women who are closing in on retirement can do to help them enjoy their senior years. Hi, I'm Gary Foreman, editor of thedollarstructure.com. With me today is Kelly O'Donnell. Kelly is Executive Vice President of Financial Engines, a company dedicated to making high-quality retirement help available to everyone by offering services through Fortune 500 companies for their workers as an employee benefit. Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I know that uh, women look at retirement a little differently than men do. What separates their views? Well, it's pretty interesting. Uh, we did a survey and, you know, as you indicated, 51% uh, were really looking forward to retirement compared to just 41% of men. And what we found was that women were really looking forward to a new chapter. Uh, they were interested in traveling and spending time with family and friends. And unlike men, they weren't worried about getting old or getting bored. Uh, they were really looking for some change in their life. Interesting. Now, uh, for some of those women who uh, maybe are in the 45, 50 range uh, and maybe single uh, and feel like they haven't saved enough, are, you know, are they doomed to becoming uh, checkers at uh, Walmart or, or is there something that they can do to, to, uh, to recover? Well, absolutely not. Um, at 45 and 50, there's plenty of time uh, to pick up for maybe some poor decisions or poor saving habits. Uh, in the earlier, it may be harder to save. Um, so saving is number one in terms of, you know, looking forward to retirement. It, it's a top priority, and, and that's going to help. Um, but for women, Social Security represents a really unique opportunity to help women, say, um, have a good uh, retirement, specifically because women live longer than men. Though women start off with uh, less in retirement um, in terms of wealth, they have more retirement to fund. So looking at Social Security and how to maximize Social Security is one of the key things women can start thinking about at 45 or 50. Now, is that something that they can do on their own or do they really need uh, professional help uh, uh, with appropriate software to help them uh, make the correct choices? It's a great question. I mean, I think one of the things that most people don't understand understand it dated. Most Americans take Social Security at age 62 as soon as they are allowed to, but actually that's short-changing and uh, short-changing the individual and leaving up to hundreds of dollars on the table. Um, there are over 8,000 different combinations for how to claim Social Security for a married couple. 2,700 different rules so it's really something that you want to make sure some time in and get some guidance on. I say, that sounds a little too complicated for the average couple to work out at their dining room table. And Now something else that uh, struck me uh, in a post on uh, uh, Financial Engines, uh, the, the blog portion of your site, uh, was uh, talking about an encore career. And I think that, that goes along with what you were saying about women looking for uh, a new chapter in life. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, what we're finding is that um, retirement has a really different meaning than it did maybe 20 or 30 years ago. Um, people don't think of it just as a time to stop working, but they think about it as a time to start exploring new opportunities or things they haven't done in the past. So some see um, working part-time, working on a, a passion or a hobby as something they'd like to pursue post-full-time work or of their, in their career. Um, one of the things, in uh, bringing it back to Social Security, is that women can use that part-time salary uh, to help defer their Social Security, which is probably the smartest decision a woman can make in terms of their retirement benefits. Um, by every year that they delay Social Security, they're going to increase their benefits 6 to 8 percent. And that makes a big difference, too, especially considering uh, uh, women have expected longer longevity than, uh, than men. And, That's right. Uh, yeah, and, and goodness, with the med medical technology now, uh, 
uh, what's 85 today could be 87 or 90 in just a few years. Definitely. And so um, we have put our uh, Social Security Planner on financialengines.com for free of charge for anyone um, interested in learning more about how Social Security can impact their retirement income and help them enjoy retirement. And we ex it really encourage single women, married women to um, try the planner and see what a different Social Security, different strategies can make. Yeah, so that's a fantastic, uh, fantastic service for people. Now, something else that we've kind of touched on here is uh, health. I, re I remember, uh, you know, my parents always used to say, if you had your health, you had everything. Uh, but I was surprised recently to see some to some statistics on how many uh, seniors actually uh, lose all the money that they saved, uh, even with Medicare, because of health issues. Yeah, so in our survey, right, you know, healthcare cost was the number one cause for concern for women and men. Um, and it's not, um, it's not unfounded. Um, rising healthcare costs, as you talked about, um, longevity increasing is really a concern. And so whether it's looking into long term uh, insurance, or other, uh, understanding what your medical costs may be and what you should be budgeting for is top priority um, when you're looking at planning for retirement. Now I know uh, uh, a lot of our viewers might not be familiar with financial engines uh, because you typically work more with Fortune 500 companies and so you're kind of a uh, second layer. And uh, Can you tell us a little bit about uh, not only financial engines but also about the website and blog? Sure. Uh, Final Engines is the nation's largest independent advice, and we help um, over 9 million individuals save, invest, and eventually spend for retirement. We do that by working with employers and helping people maximize their retirement monies. Um, FinancialEngines.com, we've developed as a source for individuals to come, whether they're working with us through their employer or not, and uh, try things like our Social Security Planner, read up on our blog, which provides tips on retirement. Um, and we've also developed a new Women in Retirement Resource Center that can um, help women specifically deal with unique challenges um, that they may face. Fantastic. Well, Kelly, we really appreciate you sharing your time with us. Uh, and I hope we get to do it again soon, uh, because I think it's a fascinating topic that uh, more and more people uh, uh, will find that the, they're interested in here before long. Definitely. Thanks for having me. It's been great. No, my pleasure. We want to thank our viewers for joining us today, and we want to invite you to uh, go visit uh, financialengines.com. Check out all of those resources that Kelly talked about. We'll provide a link uh, on the YouTube uh, channel. Uh, we also want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit thedollarstructure.com. Till the next time, this is Gary Foreman thanking you for being here.